Today I'm making pot pie noodles. These are a simple homemade egg noodle and they're a great addition to the turkey or the ham soup that you're going to make with your holiday leftovers. To make these noodles I'm going to first measure out three cups of all-purpose flour. I have made this half whole wheat, half all-purpose flour. That works too. To that I'm going to add about a half a teaspoon of salt. And then I'm going to add some sort of fat. Any sort of solid fat would work best. I'm using bacon grease. You could use butter or lard or I haven't tried it but I'm guessing even coconut oil would work. Now if you're using unsalted butter or something like that you might want to add a little bit more salt but since the bacon grease is a little bit salty I only put half a teaspoon of salt in here. Sometimes I like to add freshly cracked black pepper and even dried spices like parsley are a good addition too. Then with a fork I'm just going to cut the fat into the flour. You just want to break the fat up into small pieces. If you had a pastry blender you could use that as well. Next I'm just going to run my hands through it just to make sure there's no large pieces of fat left. Just break them all down into small pieces. And then I'm going to make a small well in the middle of the dry ingredients. In that well I'm going to put some liquid ingredients. So I'm going to crack two eggs. and just slightly beat them. Put that right in the middle of the well. I'm also going to add a little bit of cool water too. I'm going to start with about three or four tablespoons and you're going to add a little bit of water at a time until you get the right consistency of your dough. Now I'm going to slowly incorporate some of the dry ingredients into the wet ingredients. You might need to add a little bit of water as you go. Just slowly add the dry ingredients until you have a nice dough. I'm going to add a little bit more water. It's hard to say how much water you're going to use. It's like making bread. It just depends on the humidity, the barometric pressures, the alignments of the moon and the stars. But I think overall I use about a half to three quarters of a cup of water. Once the dough becomes too hard to work with the fork, I'm going to switch out the fork and just use my hands. And just knead the dough to incorporate the rest of the dry ingredients. I think I added a couple more tablespoons of water and just continue kneading it until all of the flour is incorporated. You don't need to knead it like bread dough, just mix it enough that all of the dry ingredients are incorporated. Now I'm going to roll it out on my counter, so I'm going to sprinkle just a small amount of flour and put my dough down. Sprinkle a little bit more flour on top of the dough and on my rolling pin and just roll it out. roll them out to about a quarter of an inch. You could go a little bit thinner if you like, but I wouldn't go much thicker. 
these swell up a little bit as they cook so you want to make them a little bit thinner and a little bit smaller than you want the finished noodle from here you can just cut it into squares right on the counter I'm always a little bit anxious that I'm gonna scratch my countertop so I like to slide it onto a cutting board then using a pizza cutter or you could use a knife just cut it into squares. You can make the squares any size that you want, but like I said, they swell up a little bit, and I always forget that when I cut the noodle, so I always cut them a little too big, and then I usually go back through and make them a little bit smaller. Once all of your noodles are cut out, I'm going to sprinkle a little bit more flour on top. Then spread that flour around so it gets over all of the noodles and in between each noodle. This flour will help start the drying out process and it also keeps them from sticking together. Now I'm just going to bulldoze these noodles off the cutting board and do the same thing to the rest of my dough. Now you're just going to spread the noodles out on your counter, make sure none of them are stuck together, and make sure you have them out on a single layer so that they can dry. Then I'm going to cover them up with a couple of clean dish towels and leave them to dry for a couple hours. You can toss them occasionally and maybe add a little bit more flour if they're starting to stick to the counter, but other than that, just leave them until you need them. If you need them sooner than that, you can speed up the drying process in the oven. So I'm just transferring them again in a single layer onto this cookie sheet. Then I'm going to put them in a 250 degree oven for about 15 to 20 minutes. Halfway through the drying process, just toss them so that they're evenly drying. You don't need them to become bone dry. You just want them to start to dry out so they don't stick together when you add them to the soup. Now I'm just going to add the noodles to my simmering soup pot and give it a good stir. The flour we dusted on the noodles will help thicken the broth. So if you want it a little bit thicker, you can add a little bit of extra flour to the soup. Or if you want a thinner broth, you can dust off the excess flour before you add the noodles to the soup. Bring your soup pot back to a gentle boil and cook the noodles anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes, depending on how dried out they got. Now my turkey pot pie is ready to enjoy. I hope you like this recipe and give it a try. If you've ever heard of this kind of pot pie, leave me a comment down below. There's a very small population in this country that's ever heard of these, and I'd love to hear if you're one of them. Thank you so much for watching, and happy holidays.